far as of, as of late, but I mean, it's tight. It's extremely tight at the top. So Cloud9 are doing their job to get themselves in. Keyed, they just lost two games. It shows that they have weaknesses. If people can exploit that, maybe they could become in jeopardy later on. Nihilum now falling down to three losses. They could become in jeopardy later on. I mean, things are going to be extremely close again at the end of the season. Yeah, which is pretty much what we expected coming into it. We expected that, and especially Keyed Stars, their big question was their map pool, for me at least, and... I mean, those two losses there show they're not invincible, and that's just going to give North American teams a little bit more confidence going up against them, a little less fear. But speaking of fear, ILM starting out on the T sides of the map, I mean, that's something they got to be a little bit afraid of at the moment, seemingly not having this offense exactly where they'd want it to be. All you, because I have, for some reason, not gotten into the server. <clears throat> oh, that's, uh, that's really unfortunate for both of us. Rather... <laughs> I would say. I think I'm, I think, ah, here we go. I'm getting in there now. Cool. Well, Lex is going to play aggressive uh, up towards Batham. He's going to push all the way. Not going to see anything. This is pretty much a very fast B-rush split. You're seeing Pip get into a little bit of the action. Hasn't fallen yet, but he gets caught out in the middle of nowhere. Sanks with two entries for his team. Opens up that bomb site, and he's still pushing through the smoke. He's going for a third. Not able to get it before he has to fall back, but staying alive. A five on three. Five on four now for Nihilum as Luminosity settles up for this retake. But Semphis just shuts it down. Two nice headshots. Snap comes streaming in, but there's nothing left for him to do. Three members of Nihilum still on the bomb site. That's going to be a pistol round win for them. One to zero. And they've been 4 0 on pistol or 3 0 on pistol rounds tonight. That's, I don't think that's something we mentioned in the last match. They actually won both pistol rounds uh, and all and four eco rounds against uh, Cloud9 on Inferno and still ended up losing that, what, 16 to 12? That's, that's actually nuts. Yeah. That's actually nuts when you think of it that way. It really is. Because that's like that's like the gimme that you should pretty much have six rounds in your pocket, and and that I mean at that point you're playing heads up. You should come away with it. Peter tries to go for the aggressive peek, but the scout doesn't spot anyone. He does get counter flash. That allows Sempus to go a little further, and actually doesn't land that shot. So Peter not spot on so far tonight. And Sempus takes down Lex. Nihilum again with the man advantage and the guns up. Double scout though, by the way, it's Nafly as well as Peter to hold one. There's a Galil and an AK. And three, or excuse me, two SMGs. You might as well call the Tech Nine an SMG, though, right? It's just, it's just a semi-automatic SMG. <laughs> you know, you know, it scares me. Luminosity, they're known for their deagles, and that's what they've got out. Lex went down with one, but Cephas is at eight, and if they just land a couple scout shots and maybe just a couple of these deagles, I mean, this is a this is a brutal com or combination. Both of these weapons able to take you down to, to less than fifty with one tag. Peter's trying to go for that jump, at least scouting out where they are, but hasn't spotted them. That smoke's going to allow them to get really close, and he's going to have a big problem when they come through in the rapid-fire guns against him. Meanwhile, Nihilum's still taking the fight at the bottom of the stairwell. Hiko finds Pit, and Peter does drop eventually to Semphis. Took a little more time than I might have expected, but the kill was registered. It came in. Valence finds Nafly. Anger at the only kill in response from LG. And I don't think Sankst has this for the extra money. Oh, he does. So extra $300 for Sankst. Yeah, he's ballin'. Good for him. He's ballin'. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, speaking of which, uh, great great job by, by Nylum. I mean, not losing really any money. Only one player falling there in, in a full buy second round from Luminosity. Deagles and Scouts and they only lose one player? That's, that's huge. Uh, I mean, let's not underestimate how big of an impact that can have moving forward. But now we're going to get this aggressive mid-push. Oh, actually, they dropped down into the stairs. Automatic's gonna push, though. Look at them. Three players swarming him. And Automatic, he's already aggressively peeking towards Pith. Actually gets the shot there. But Peter popping out from the side is able to put a bullet into the side of his head. Zico waits at party. Lex aggressive again, and he uses the P250 this time. Add one to the stat track. Sliding back out, though. Hiko was waiting all the while with the AK. And as the bomb goes down, it's a three-on-three. And it's a very lurking three on three, and somehow that SMG just tapping away, t t tapping away, is able to take Hiko down to 13 HP. But Cephas finds anger; it leaves just Peter and Nafly left. Yeah, Naf's gonna go down here. Peter has a Mac 10. He might just go for a little bit of extra money, see if he can find a gun. He's the opper, so I'm sure. Actually, yeah, he's the opper, and, and he bought a scout, so he's not gonna be able to get the AWP in the fourth round. He's gonna be forced onto an M4. And that'll do it for the round. Peter hangs on to the Galil. But 
there won't be much more to work with. That's actually a pretty or will good they actually, yeah. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't have to buy a rifle now, so moving forward, oh, he's going to drop one over anyways. Yeah, well, he has to drop it over anger. It was aggressive buy, yeah, so this brings a scout back out. So this is still a bit of a staggered buy, considering we're on round four. Because we're going to have two M4s, but they go to a Famosca little scout to go with it. So it's not but, exactly standard, but it still gets guns across all five players. It misses that shot, though, again, too, so I haven't seen Peter land one quite yet. Scout not being too friendly for him. Misses that one, thanks to the nice bait, bait out of the shot. And now he's taking some damage. He's going to have to fall back, so is Lex. So that's going to force the defense back. That's really well done by Nihilum to push all the aggression out of the bathrooms. Peter just looking for the shot still. Trying to use the scout on the jump position this time. He could actually play it up closer at the flower boxes as well. Problem is it leaves him a little bit more exposed. Gets him a more aggressive angle though. That's where we saw Pasha play it. When he hit that nutty jump shot through the water closet sign. That was that face it. I can't remember who he was playing against. Either way, not the automatics trying to spay through the smoke. On to Nafly, and he actually is going to spot him on the second effort, changing his angle. Nafly came back out and to an unwelcome visitor. An intruder on the terrorist side, and now they have the man advantage. They want to execute as well. Tons of smokes and flashes going in. Automatic's lagging a little bit behind. He'll watch the flank. He goes even further. He's on the lurk, but it won't matter if Automatic's finds Lex, because now it's just left to Peter inside the site, and he's flashed out of position. Does go for an early peek with that scout. Takes Valens down to nine, but now it's going to be Sempus readdressing this with the Deagle, and Peter gets dropped as he spots him peeking in front. Switching to the AK he finds, or excuse me, the AWP. He finds Anger immediately as fast, and it's all Pith remaining, and I think he's just going to sit back and... Consider this one done. Go for a beer at the pub and show up on the next day because it's going to be 4 nothing for Nihilum. Yeah, and a great start for Nihilum. I mean, the first thing they did great was push everyone out of bathrooms. They gained map control that, and it was kind of curious that a couple a couple Luminosity players just re-peaked it aggressively, and they just get punished for it. Lex goes down, Naf goes down out there, and then it just leaves Peter all alone in the bombsite with that scout. Nothing he can really do, so... Pitt is trying to save this gun. He is getting uh, put pressure on from Monster, but I think he's going to be able to survive. No one from Nihilum really being too committed to it, except for Hiko, who with a confident crouch peek just sprays him down long range. Nice shot from him. So now it's going to be 4-0 for Nihilum, and we're going to see those deagles come out for Luminosity. These are some big eco-round investments, and they've been very effective for him in the past, but Nihilum just playing so very well at the moment. These first four rounds open it up very strong. They have a lot of economy, a lot of utility, and especially their anti-ecos tonight have been fantastic. They haven't lost one quite yet. Lex waiting with the Deagle again. We'll see if they can make it work. Pit 30 finds Eco. Sanks, though, does catch Lex, so his lucky Deagle won't work to the same degree we've seen it to work in the past. Although Semphis now, he'll find Pit with the AWP. Anger gets one more in response, but that's all he's going to get. He's immediately dropped by Sanks, so it's still a man advantage right now, plus all guns up for Nihilum. They'll make it now a two-man advantage as Nafly drops down, and Peter's really got nothing to work with here. He'll push through with the P250. Does at least take down the bomb, but only post-plant. So it's a bomb plant that goes Nihilum's way before the end of the round, and Sanks will catch Peter immediately after. 5 nothing. T-side overpass. This is looking like an excellent start. Yeah, it really is. I mean, they're, they got to be completely happy with with even just five rounds in this half. Uh, I mean, that that's kind of what you're what you're looking for. But here's the thing: Peter's going to have that AWP in his hands for the first time. They got three uh, three kills that round, so they've done a little bit of a damage to the economy of Nihilum. So they've got a good start. They've got to eventually break that if they want to even up these round scores. But they're going Nihilum's going away from the op of Peter. They're actually heading over towards B this round. Four players in that direction. With one player automatic just clearing out the door, and he might have spotted that boost actually, but they drop off it. Here comes the hit though. Sanks with another with a great shot, entry shot on the pit. He just cleans him out. So Sanks doing a very good job in this map of entry fragging for his team. They've got one more anger looking over towards short. He gets spotted. Sanks takes him out, but that's all he's gonna get. Hiko trades it off, and now the bomb goes down. It's gonna be a retake situation for Luminosity. Not prepared for that aggression. Not at all prepared. But Valens, he gets dropped now by Nafly. They can try and go for this retake in a three on three, but not with Sempis still lurking and firing away a catwalk until Nafly gets in position. It's a shame he wasn't there two seconds sooner because it would have made them have the man advantage potentially as he go. He'll catch Nafly and he slides back out. Lex goes down immediately after. And Nihilum look warm. Lumin Luminosity look a little cold right now. 
Well, Nile and Arwen, they've played, they've played like three ma three official maps in a row, but uh, beyond that, I mean, they're just all filling their roles wonderfully at the moment. Sanks with those entry kills, Sephus coming in second or third with the AWP, helping to back everybody up. Hiko getting into a position where we can set up crossfires and lurk them out. I mean, everyone's just playing really, really in sync for the moment at Nihilum. Part of the issue too, I mean, Peter hasn't Peter hasn't been able to. They hadn't even go anywhere with him for that day off. That was a big investment for him, and he's even double nated down to 18. He's having a rough match so far. He's got to bail out. Yeah, he's definitely not been hitting much. That's for sure. That's a bit unfortunate. Again, in this situation, Lexi's going to continue to watch with this deagle. But how much can he really do? That's the question. How much can be asked of him in this position as Sempus continues to push up at long? They'll bring Nafly over from B. Anger's gonna have to sit tight on his own. And they still have potential to wrap back there because he goes lurking. Well and truly back toward Monster as automatics at the bottom of the stairwell to push out Squeaky. So Anger plays passive on Catwalk. He'll try and counter the entry if they do end up going that direction and then they'll play for the retake. But they still haven't committed. Pit Lex, they're both going to get aggressive again outside Bananas. Or excuse me, Banana. It is a bit of a banana at the front of the the uh, bathrooms if you look at it that way, but... Yeah, I'll give it the to bathrooms. you. <clears throat> You'll give it to me? Alright, thanks. I appreciate it. But it's actually going to be Sempest to go down, so Peter does make good on the shot this time. Even with the low HP, but it all comes right back the other way. Saxy finds one automatic and Hiko do the same. Lex, who waits patiently, does get one on with the Deagle. It gives them into a three on two, but they've only picked up the one AK. Now they push forward. Nafly gets the scout, but look where Sankst is. He's still waiting. He's a bit trapped here. He has to pick his angle right, and he does on Nafly. And all of a sudden, Lex realizes there's a player behind him. So he's going to sit tight with this AK, because I think he's desperately going to want to hold on to this. There's no way he's going to yeah. get back over to the site in time. I think he wants to go for that op. I think he wants to try and pick up that AWP for Peter, to be completely honest with yeah, you. He's going to automatic is. He's coming right around to support that op, so he might get this kill, but he's going to have to pick this up and run. In fact, he hears automatic coming, so now he knows he's in a desperate position. He thinks he might be getting pushed, and he looks the wrong way. Automatic peeks out, and thank you very much for the op and the kill. Yeah, what a half being put together here by Nihilum, showing no signs of slowing down. Now they've got an op of their own back into Semphis' hands. Peter can't even af or they do drop Peter 1, so someone buys Peter 1. Pretty decent buy out of Luminosity. All the kits, they just have some light armor. And this is going to be the, this is the best opportunity they've had to make this stand and stop this streak of seven rounds so far. Good flashbang over the top to try and get aggressive, to try and get an early peek, but Nihilum's a little bit slow out of the gate, so they actually dodge that. There's Peter. There's Peter. He comes up on a party, jumps over the smoke, and spots the head. He takes it out. That's Not a bad peculiar, actually. I wasn't. I didn't think he was going to repeat that after that first flash because he went for a naked peek afterward. So that actually worked out well for him. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's equalized now. Automatic and Semphis each grabbing one, so it's down to a three on three. Peter's still got an angle with this AWP. He's trying to play this bathroom uh, area of the map very, very well. Just taking a shot and falling back, finding a new angle, and see if he can grab one more. But the bomb's actually going to rotate itself back around towards the B site, and that's where Pit is. He's the only one. Yeah, the only one indeed. They've done this with Anger last time. Very different position for Pit, though. He wants to play aggressive. Hiko is lurking that position now with the bomb. It leaves Sanks as the solo player on A on the terrorist perspective. And Sempus needs to come out squeaky right now and try and support. Actually, Hiko's coming toward him, so... They might double take this from Sandbag. Lex is just coming back up the stairs now at the E-Bock. Because Sanks has done enough distracting and Pitts completely changed his angle he's actually gonna go catwalk so this will be a retake when they go for it but the problem is Sanks has now cut off Lex they have to get Peter to nail this shot and he has the far rotation Lex was the one that was in the driver's seat so Sempis is gonna wait patiently Hiko gets spotted up by Pitt who now goes ahead and smokes himself over the top that lands for Hiko and actually he's gonna put this bomb down and Sempis finds Peter quick on the rotation so he gets caught completely in window and that's gonna be frustrating for Peter as Sempis he'll slide back out and catch his Pitt as well and a stylish surf away from the site at the end. Hey, I mean, you, you said it before even Inferno began that Cephas has just been a beast for Nihilum so far this season. He's showing why here. Seems very, very comfortable in what he's able to do in this squad. 14-4 and four at the moment, and that op is doing works. Last season we saw, we saw Sanks, uh, he was the CT side opper for this team, and it always switched over to Automatic on the T side. It looks like Cephas has kind of taken over that role and just let Automatic get comfortable in that in that entry with his with his AK-47 and it's working great.
And it looks like Nafly wants to get aggressive with Lek. And they're actually going to push all the way through Squeak. So the door opens, no one hears it because they're coming through monsters, so they're not directly on sandbags. And look what Lex does as a result. The quick flank plays off, he gets two, but it's immediately countered back as Automatic and Hiko each pick up one. Nap flies the second to drop, so the flank's over until the second wave. It's Anger to come through this time. He finds Automatic, so man advantage, Bomb is down, Valence can cancels out Peter, but Pith, he'll take Hiko, brings us to a one-on-one, -on -one. and Anger knows it, he spots him running, there's nowhere to hide with that low HP. And finally, Luminosity are going to get around after 8 going the way of the Terror's side on an overpass. Excuse me, I almost said Inferno. We played there twice, but, I mean, that's a ridiculously good start for Nihilum. And Luminosity pretty much have to win out this half to make any case here. And yeah. still, even with winning that round, despite that they won it, and resetting the money bonus and losing that many players, look at their buy. It's still quite forced. I uh, know. It's it's really, really tough buy. Peter's back on that scout again, which is just bad news. And that would be just heartbreaking. If their economy got broke here, I mean, the half is just pretty much over, so this is a must-win round for Luminosity. Smoke in the mouth of the monster. Potential to breathe fire, but Hiko hasn't received any of it yet. In fact, he puts out the only damage, and it's Pit that makes it. That Nadal does one more, so it's 66 right now. Remaining for him, and another nade. They're just raining them in. That's on time. It does do a little bit more. It takes him down to four less than he had. 62 remain, and it, look at the stack they're going to put in on this, though. Anger and Nafli, both in good supporting cast. Yeah, I really think this would be insane for Nylum to hit at the moment. They just threw so many nades to try and force force Pit out of position, and, and now they have this stack, and Pit's going to go down. There's Sanks, another entry kill. Valens chimes in, so not so insane. They're making it work. Lex on the flank does grab one. He's got to run through fire now. It's down to a three on three. Smart play by Lex to push through that, because he knows he has to get there quickly, and I don't think they would have expected it. Doesn't matter, though, because now he's all that left. It is a one-on-one. -on -one. He goes all that remains. He has the bomb to work with. Bouncing out the smoke, make sure no one's going to follow him through catwalk, and he'll take this right to A. This forces Lex's hand. And if Nihilum picked this up after resetting the money bonus, things only go from bad to worse. It's out of the fryer and into the frying pan immediately for Luminosity, because they've got to go right back onto an eco. Yeah, and Hiko's the ones you want to have in this situation, too. So he plants the bomb on the inside of the boxes. That's a bit peculiar. He knows that he can actually bait out the defuse, though, by doing this, rather than getting hunted in a post-plant position when it's an open spot. But he still gets overexposed, and Lex finds it. That's remarkable. You rarely see Hiko overpeak in those situations. Yeah, just a little bit too far, and a nice shot by Lex as well. So they win that one-on-one. -on -one. They're not out of it just yet, because they did get brought down to one player one more time, so the economy is still very weak. See, Peter does have a scout again. He's been forced onto a scout pretty much every single round but one this half. That's got to be frustrating. And Nihilum, with all that economy from the eight-round win streak, they have another full buy coming their way. Sephus with the AWP and four AKs behind it, so still looking very, very strong. But Luminosity, I mean, great, great hold. They went down. They lost the first two entry kills there in that round, and they still managed to win it out in the end. So nicely done by them. Let's fire under the stairs, make sure no one gets aggressive. LG's played a considerably different style of aggression than what they initially looked like they were going to. They set the tone with some really aggressive peaks toward the park, and now they're falling back more and more. So very cautious, very conservative, as you'd expect in a game that is 8-2 for Nihilum. And Semphis, he finds Lex sliding back out of that bathroom connector. No idea he was there. And the op at that range definitely has the upper hand, as shown. Peter, though, again, this scout... He's yet to really make a contribution with it, yet to make an impact in a round, and he still goes back to it every single time. And Sempus, he'll find Peter. He can't even run away. It's a Tech-9 that gets the kill, and automatic, he takes down Nafly. It all falls apart again for LG. Yeah, yeah, that, that scout is just, I mean, it's so hard to do that consistently against against these AK-47s, and Nylum is just everything going the way. Sempus with two more kills. Anger's going to be in bank. Not really much he can do. He, in fact, he's going to get flash and push and just taken out. Pip is just over at B trying to save his weapon. He might be able to find one or two on the exits, but actually Sanks, some clever shoulder peeking, baits out the recoil shots and is able to take him out. And, and that's this is what we're talking about. Here's that nightmare for Luminosity. Their economy is broken, so they're going to be forced onto a save here. Next round, they'll, they'll more than likely just have to force by because, uh, I mean, they need rounds more than they can afford to save after this. And, I mean, again, reset money bonus. They avoided it last round. 
But they're in the same situation, similar fate. They'll push forward right now through the Fountain area, and it actually does pay off because it's an even trade with no one else there to step in. So they will pick up a gun from this, and they can try and continue on with this flank aggression. Pith likes... They're actually going to go back through A. Interesting. I would have thought they would have gone through stairwell right there. But Automatic is aware that they're coming, and he steps out. There's no fooling him. He waits back. That's two already down. Pith, Lex, split up. Try and take guns away. It's all you can really do. Nihilum are poised to take ten rounds on the terrorist side. That's already a remarkable enough feat. And they've still got three more rounds to play after this that they could potentially pick up as well. Yeah, they've, they've put together a masterpiece here after, after losing Inferno. They've really come out swinging. And Hiko might find Lex. Is he going to check the corner? He is. Just a little bit late, Lex is going to land the shot, so his position's given away, but nobody's very close to even find that. So he will bring that into the next round, that's a good find. A necessary find, really, they need everything they can get at the moment. I mean, part of it is, it just looks like some of the, some of the defenses they're setting up just almost feel like they require, especially over at the 8-bomb site, an op in Peter's hands, and without him landing even a headshot with that scout... It gives Nihilum a lot of room to work with, and they're able to, to really bully their way into map control and just make the trades happen. And I, and I mean, everything on top of that, too. Sanks, he's only got 12 kills, but they've been all the important entry kills. Sempha's doing a fantastic job coming in, coming in second with 17. Yeah, definitely been solid fragging from Sempha's right now. It's interesting that Sanks sits only on 12 because he's been so strong, and there you go again. Another one for him as he catches Nafly. He go did go down before that. Peter trades it. Automatic. Nice strafe jump by Lex. Stylish. Unfortunately, it wasn't effective. It was felt like he was, finds him. Felt like he was doing like an ollie, like a skateboarding trick over over automatic. Automatic just smacks it down. Smacks it down. Throws the stick in the spokes. Lets the bike flip over. He goes over the handlebars. And now it's just pit. So nihil him again. This is, um, I mean, I, I don't even know how you really dissect this, because Nihilum are just winning the duels outright. The economy is definitely not helping Luminosity, but, I mean, even in their defaults, they're losing men early. They're not holding, I guess, the, yeah, the entries. The entries are going every single time to Nihilum right now. You're exactly right, and, I mean... The part of the issue too is one of the ways, like with Peter just repeatedly buying the scout, you can just tell everything that he wants to do on this map involves that scope. So he's used to having an AWP, and I mean, one, he's just not landing the shots with the scout, but two, I mean, it's so much harder to get. Like, it, if you get a pick with the AWP, like it does so much work for you, but it's so much harder to get that with the scout. It's just not working out, and Ilum's really just punishing him for it. Here's Hiko now. It's his turn to get some entry kills, and he's going to find two of them. Yeah, great pop flash from his teammate. So they can't do anything to slow them down. Anger has the deagle, but this is pure frustration at this point for Luminosity. So we said it would have been an amazing win for them to pick up against a team like Nihilum and really set things straight. Get things back on an even keel, but it's not happening at all right now. At least not at this point in the match. Unless there's a second part to this story, because so far it's all she wrote for Nihilum. 12-2 on the terrorist side going into the last round of the first half. And if this goes 13-2 terrorists, man, oh man. That might be a first for me on Overpass, regardless of who's playing. <laughs> don't, don't say that. There's I'm just been, saying, bro. And I know you've seen one. Um, I don't think I have, to be completely honest. I'd have to go back through... I, like, I think I've only... Yeah, I'd have to go back through. I definitely didn't see one when I was overseas. I mean, the real story, just the woes continue for Luminosity. They, they kind of uh, missed a step here. Looking good to open the season, but something something's not clicking at the moment. And actually, Valens mollies off his teammates and forces them to rush through it. But they have pretty much have the B-bomb site for free, so it's basically a five-man stack on the, on the stairs, on the sewers. So, Luminosity, this is going to be a full-blown retake. Pit just comes running through the smoke. He grabs one before he gets taken out, but... It's actually starting to look like a great round for Luminosity as they just yeah. swarm around this bomb site. Yeah, now fly. He's in a quite tight spot, but he does have Lex to work up beside him, so even if Semphis pops out, there's potential they can get the trade on. Now fly does catch Semphis. That's how it was intended to be. Anger finds Hiko, and now they've got it. There it is, 12-3. I have seen that before. I can say I've seen that. So they'll get themselves away of that accolade <laughs> of being the low light of the overpass CT side, but still a long way to go for Luminosity if they want any case in this matchup. 
Yeah, I mean, they've, they've got to win basically everything, so... That's going to be... This is going to be really, really tough for them. I mean, this comeback, it's... More than likely not going to happen, it's just... It's just, I'm trying to figure out what they've been doing I know. wrong, aside from losing these entry battles. I, 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 mean, I mean, that's the thing. It is a weird one. Because it's, it's one of those maps that the default is aggressive. So you expect to, I mean, if it works, it looks perfect. But when it goes slow like this, it's not like Inferno, where it's a blatant misplay. There's no smoke here. There's no flash here. You don't really rely on that quite as much on the counter-terrorist side on a map like Overpass. It's more positioning. Sure, you could argue a pop flash out at the new long connector at A, um, but it's it's generally just not losing the exchanges, not getting caught in the open. How many times were they blind on entry at B? How many times did Nylon walk through? We saw Hiko do it most recently with that double kill when he walked through Monster, and both players were completely full blinded, completely white. It's just, I think it's just slight positioning layers from LG, because it's not anything critical. It's not like it's a massive misplay here and there. They're just losing the battles outright. Yeah, I mean, you, you do have to say, kind of, Nylon, with the, with the way they've entered in this matchup, they've really just been imposing their will upon it, and, and I think it just kind of snowballed to a certain point, and when they got out to, like, 6-0, 7-0, it just kind of goes from there. You see the Nylon players, all the confidence in the world, taking every fight and still winning them. So. Just tough. Just tough for Luminosity, for a team that, yeah, that, that really does have... I mean, it sounds like we're dumping on it, but this is a team that we both like, and we both think they have a lot of promise, especially with Pitt coming over. We've noticed a lot of really cool changes in this mm -hmm. team. And um, they play together a lot. They get along super well. They've got a house in Toronto, or just outside. I'm not sure where exactly it is, but it's around Toronto, uh, where Pitt's currently living. Peter's supposed to be heading up there at some point. I don't think full-time, and Lex is also going to make an appearance. So these guys will be playing a lot together. And I mean, every single night they're 10-manning and stuff, so... The efforts there, the teammate, teammate ship, teammate ship. <laughs> Can you please never let me say that ever again? <laughs> I'll do my best to stop you. All right, you. please, thank you. If you see that coming, <laughs> since you're clearly right beside me and all. Uh, no, but you know what I mean. The camaraderie's there. These guys definitely work well together. It's a shame to see them in a situation like this, because I do have high hopes for them. And I think Pitt's made a big commitment to come over here, and hopefully that'll have an effect, because he brings a lot of experience. But equally, you can say they learn a lot from losses like this. Because they'll be very critical of this. If you lose by one or two rounds, you can make excuses here and there. You can't make an excuse about this, no, so they'll I have think to it's, review it. No, I it's the other way. You have that one backwards for sure. You think so? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think you could excuse one or two rounds like, Oh, I messed a flash here, so we lost that round. Rather than, oh, we got smoked by 18 rounds or whatever the heck. You know, it's, you can't really make excuses every single round. Either way, this pistol's looking all right. As Lex does find Sank, Sempus comes around on the flank, though. He'll catch him, but Peter's right there behind him, so... Peter's hot on his heels. Leaves it a little bit of a distracted play, and in fact, Anger comes over to help out. Sempus goes down. It's automatic in the sight, and Anger spots him as well. Excellently done. I find that interesting that you think there'd be more excuses for a major loss when it's more inexcusable to lose by that much. I didn't say that there'd be more excuses. I just mean that you're going to learn more from a close loss than you will... From a big loss. Oh, okay, okay. I, okay, that I could see an argument against, maybe. I thought you were arguing that they could make more excuses for a large loss. I was like, what? No. That makes no sense, Moses. <laughs> that should have been your first time that that wasn't what I was talking about. Everything I say makes sense. <laughs> Touche. Well, no, trying to enter similarly to how Nihilum did. They might actually have an advantage here in the fact that Sanks is the only one home, not to mention it's just a pistol for him. But it is a 5-7, so he's got 20 bullets to make good on, and he makes good on the first two, but unfortunately two more come back at him from Anger and the AK. The story of a novel, the title of a novel. Anger and the AK, and it's going to be Anger and the Bomb. That's going to be put down on B. Peter knows that Valens is here, so he uses the pistol to take the last remaining HP off him because he did actually hit him with the scout. And now they're in good position to take it another round. So we're starting off similar to Nihilum did. Get the pistol. Looking good on the Eco, at least so far, before Hiko comes back in. But they have a long way to go. As we said, Peter does come around. Tags up Hiko again. Swaps to the pistol. That's the second combo kill he's got with that. As now Lex will find Automatic, and the bomb is definitely far too pass cooked. In fact, it won't even matter. Peter, now he's coming alive. He'll hit the shot on Tempest with ease. It's a good start. It is, although they did take a lot of damage. Three kills there, that was, that was a good eco round there for Nihilum. I was actually, um, to be completely honest with you, I was a little bit surprised they bought that round. I mean, they have so many rounds to work with. Just going to the fourth round with a full buy, but either way, four AKs out for Luminosity. 
no SMGs. Peter still with that scout. That that poor guy has had the scout so many times this match. Automatic catching Nafly really early though, so this middle aggression down into the stairwell pays off. They'll get one, they push forward, they actually get an AK out of this because there's no one in position or even around to trade that off. So it's LG coming in toward A. Niall and Mu pushed all the way down, rotating back from B. They realize no one's there, so they're going to have a stack on this A site by the time LG get there because they're playing this so slow. So it's a merry-go-round around the world strategy, whatever you want to call it. But Niall are going to be here. And the sentry's going to have to be swift. That one AK, where's it going to be played right now? It's in the hands of Automatic, and it looks like he's got himself in position near the truck, but Pith, he's going to find Sanks. Nico, Hiko, excuse me, going down. Valens gets caught as well, and Pith with the double. He slides back out, and Semphis to drop immediately after, and Automatic, he's the one with the AK. He can't even do anything. What a round from Pith. Yeah, he, he really bailed them out of that stack at the pump set in. That was, and partially, that, that's Pith just doing some fantastic worth, but also... Nihilum, I mean, four players there, and you're not able to set up any kind of crossfire to respond on one player coming up long like that, so a little bit of a, I mean, they had themselves in a great situation, couldn't take advantage of it, now we're going to see them come out with all the M4s, no kits on the Nihilum side, though, and very, uh, the utility's a little bit beaten up as well, just smokes and flash, no Molotovs, no nades or anything like that. And it does look like a heavy B play for Luminosity, four members just slow walking into Monster at the moment. And Automatic's going to fall because they've already got two players pushed all the way up. So there's no point in committing three to the flank. He'll go for the quick rotation through the CT spawn, but he's going to have to be quicker because Hiko's already dropped. He's only collected one on the entry. So LG in a good position to put this bomb in position, in place rather, as well. As Anger, he'll slide back out. Automatic on the opposing side of that smoke is going to try and flash himself through it. He does catch Anger with it, completely whited out. He gets the kill with ease and he fires back through the edge of the plywood, but no one's on the opposing side as Sempfus will find Lex. Automatic, though, does find Nafly, and things are looking good right now for Nihilum on the retake. Tempest to smoke the site. They want to get in and hold this defuse inside of it, but Peter finds him with the pistol. He needs to be aware that Automatic's up close, and Peter, he's making up for the first half. He now leads the way for his team. 14 kills, and they'll pick up their seventh, and crucially, their fourth in this half, the first gun round. Oh, and you just, you know how pumped Peter is at the moment right now. You can know this is the guy. Him. Yep, and he, he knows nothing's ever over until... Until you're leaving the server, so he, he still fully believes they're right in this, and they're making a case for it at the moment. This is going to be four straight for him. And another eek around for Nihilum. That, I mean, that two-on-one that came down to, him, to, the, to, to just Peter, I mean, even if they had killed him early, I don't know if they would have won it. No kits on their side, and now look, just a fast, very confident A hit. They're just going to stream down. Sanks is playing aggressive here in the bathrooms. And he plays and waits, likes around the corner, he does find one, gets back into cover, pops back out as well, but can't hit the shot. Didn't realize Naf had slept, slipped, excuse me, so far to his left side. I'd say he was sleeping on it, really. You could, you could say that. <laughs> as Sempus wants to creep desperately up close to use this pistol to its full effect, but he's got a group of LG players hanging out and holding for each other inside the bath. As Sempus gets caught by Peter, it's the op this time. No more scouts because they've got nothing to work with. Finally, an anger will catch automatic. So swarming like a pack of sharks, it doesn't work outside the bathrooms. LG will fight their way through it. They've only got one player left inside the A site. It's Hiko. Valen's all the way over at B. He's going to realize now that they're not coming that direction. We'll see what damage Hiko can do. Nafly needs to be careful as he spams through the smoke not to get caught. He does. Hiko, he's going to do more than that. He finds Peter. Now he has an AK to work with. Bong goes down on the side. Pit will take down Valens, but Hiko's brought this back to a one-on-one. -on -one. And my god, the reactions. He almost goes for the 180. It doesn't matter. Anger gets it. And thankfully, he was there when he was, because he knew exactly where he was. That was that was almost just magical from Hiko. Almost makes it work there. But now we're going to have that full buy. Those four kills. I mean, look at what that did to the economy. You know, they didn't win that round, but you see Lex down at zero. You see Anger at 1,500. I mean, these, this money is very, very low for Luminosity, so nicely done by Hiko, doing a lot of damage there. And so Luminosity will get away with one more, five straight round. Remember, it was eight straight for Nihilum to start things off in the first half. So potentially going to be equaled. That's the hope, that's the dream right now, and you said it, I mean, Peter's the guy that gets motivated in these situations, and he just gets and runs with these... So contagious. We saw him do it behind Keed Stars at the Major, at the Qualifiers. He played coach and he did it well, and now he's going to be the mo motivator on LG. Drop the C. 
as the flashes will come in. Smoke actually to cover off Heaven. Valens needs to play this well right now in cohorts with Hiko. And that fire does separate them. I think Anger's actually... No, he's, he's deep enough in the corner. It doesn't go far enough. I thought he was going to be in trouble there, but Napoli on the entry. That flash comes over, and it's the exact same thing Nihilum were doing. They get both players completely blind, and the entry gets to full effect as Napoli picks a double. And Tempest, though, that smoke has dissipated. He's got full vision. Almost collects the second shot on Pith. They need to be careful not to get out in the open because they still only have a one-man advantage. Pith will get this bomb down. And Sempus knows he's still in behind the plywood, so he'll wait to look for the exit. His automatic pushes forward. He finds Anger, and Pith falls. He's got the position. It's a two-on-two, -two, and it's all up to Nihilum to get inside this site. Sempus still waiting patiently inside window. Desperate and hopefully someone will peek out as he can get a bait from his teammate. He's not going to because he realizes he has to get aggressive and Napoli is still holding. And he made it just to bait them and distract them long enough for Pith to get the trade. And it's another round for Luminosity. Oh my god, this is insane. They're actually going to make this happen right now. This comeback is looking like a real thing. And here's the trouble. Here's the tough part for Nihilum is they've done so much damage they, yep, they're going to buy here. So they've, they're have they in a situation where they probably would have liked to save, but they've just they've gotten four kills in the last two rounds. They know the money for Luminosity is low. They know if they just win one, the economy is broken, and they're going to get a couple free, easier wins. But they just can't break them at the moment. Luminosity coming up with all the right plays at the right times. Peter, Dragon Lore, Anger ahead of him. He wants to go through that smoke, needs to hit the shot, needs to get the flash in, and it worked. Hiko there holding from Catwalk, has the reverse angle to play, but Pitt's gonna find Valence. Hiko's forced back in toward the doorway. Has to stay very subtle and passive, needs to stay efficient, let the rotation come in. Because again, the site's going to LG, so for a rare treat, we do have a T-sided overpass on our hands tonight. And Snafly knows Hiko has to cross over. Someone has to come from those doors. He'll put damage through the plywood, but unfortunately not into opposing player. Automatic going to use this smoke to give himself some more space. In fact, it lets him wrap all the way to Toxic, but look at Peter. He's on now. Slow first half. He's wide awake. And he's going to find more on Hiko. Lex will close it out. This time they survive with three players left because Lex has two HP. This will allow <laughs> things to start to build for them because, like you said, it was desperately close. Yeah, uh, this is going to allow them to stabilize completely. So this is going to be an Hiko round out of, out of Nihilum. And this is just absolutely insane. It just seems like the teams have almost flipped their position where it doesn't really seem like Nihilum is doing anything wrong. They're just losing every entry battle that, that Luminosity get, that puts them in. I mean, Luminosity is really just grouping up and they're bullying their way either towards A or towards B and just winning all the trades and maybe not even needing to trade it's just insane at the moment so Nihilum on their back feet now this is gonna start getting worrisome and Nafly will catch automatic so the aggression doesn't even work with the pistol it is getting problematic we've seen a number of teams struggle once momentum starts to build on the T side we've seen TSM struggle. In fact, twice we saw them do it against Virtus Pro when they had that game at Star Ladder that went deep. We actually saw them do it at Fnatic in the championship game against uh, or at CCS in, against Fnatic in the championship game when they threw that Hail Mary to win it, but they were slipped. So momentum can be a powerful thing on this map, it seems, for the terrorists. At least one kill goes back to Valens. And it looks like they will equal this task right now. Things are definitely in their favor. Seven rounds already. It might be another 8 nothing start for terrorists on overpass. This will bring us back to a one-round difference. And LG's got to be absolutely pumped. You have to think it's Nihilum now. Who would have thought this was going to be a cakewalk? Or at least that this wasn't going to be too troublesome for them that are now scratching their heads thinking what the hell is going on because LG has got everything working in their favor. Double smoke out on catwalk. Sank Sempus. They can't even push through. They just want exits and they're not going to get them. Yeah, this is uh, this is insane. I think everyone watching pretty much thought that this was going to be over pretty quickly, but Luminosity turning it around here. Peter's come alive, 17 and 15. You've said it a couple times. A completely different player than he was in the first half. All of them really are. All of them are starting to win their battles and, uh, and land their shots. So, I mean, everything's going right for Luminosity at the moment. And Nihilum, they've got to figure something out here. I would expect some kind of aggression, see if they can get an early lead, see if they can, you know, grab a 4-on-3 or a 5-on-4 and just kind of turtle up into the site and play the advantage. We'll see if that's the case. Again, it's a bit of aggressive toward A. Semphis is out toward bathrooms with the AWP. So he's looking for someone to carelessly cross over from the playground. 
And a smoke out monster. He goes on the backside of it. They are going for the stack to get vision in toward construction right now with automatic on Valen's heads. They're going to fall off that. Valen's will drop inside the pit. Hug the bomb side. Actually, he's going to slide over, so he's going to support Hiko. This is an entirely different play to try and cancel out that entry. Because, I mean, that's where they've been losing it. It's from Monster, where they get that flash in that they've been dropping two players every single time from LG. Yeah, but here's something different we're seeing at LG. Normally, they just kind of group up and hit this hit, hit one of these bomb sites when the smoke and the choke point fades. Now they're going to try and get a little bit of fancy. Made a presence over towards B, and everyone's rotating back towards A, so Peter sees something he likes. He's clearing out the bathroom all alone with an A to BP. This is... Very aggressive by him. And he might find Sanks. Sanks just gets into cover at the right time. He's going to throw a Molotov, though. That's going to force Peter forward, and Sanks has got to be careful. Peter just barely misses the shot, but now Sanks is in trouble. He could get, could get pinched upon in these bathrooms, but he's just going to push through. Peter's not expecting that whatsoever. What a play by Sanks. Solid shot indeed. Does give Nylon the upper hand, but Nafly cancels it out. So again, it is still back to a 4-on-4. Four four. Nafly actually shoots at his teammate, expecting more people to be lower on the site. But instead, they're inside pit. It's Hiko that's there. The nade will take down Nafly. Now Hiko has a chance to peek out unexpected, and Lex takes a bit of damage as he tries to fall away. Nylon, this is their best chance for a retake in a long time. But again, that bomb plant, it still comes out. And Anger plays the angle that Nafly played last time. He's got two. He walks out, make it three. They have no answer whatsoever right now. And LG actually do one better, believe it or not. That's nine straight rounds unanswered on the T side. And this is ridiculous. We are at 12-12 after a 12-3 half on the T side from Nihilum. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, you. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this on an overpass. I know I'm just echoing what you said earlier, but this is insane now. I mean, this is just getting crazy. And... Even that round, Nylum had good positioning on the retake. They had it evened up. And still, Anchor just comes out with a magnificent play. He's now at 19 and 17. Now, yeah, Fly, Lex, they're already inside lower. Semphis, though, there we go. Nylum again, have the early one. Gets one, but traded by Lex. And it gives the option to LG on where they want to play. Because Nylum had a stack, and in fact, they go two men down. So they'll rotate back. They're going to doubly do so. In fact, it's automatic and Valens leaving Hiko alone on B, the site that's given them so many problems. Yeah, and look at how far back Luminosity's playing. They're just waiting for any kind of information gathering push, any kind of really aggressive flank, anything that could ruin this round for them because they know this is a great opportunity in a full round three with a minute left on the clock. Automatic. Inside the site, Anger getting a lot closer to it. Valens might get caught in no man's land in the transition as he looks for that early peak. Now they know exactly where he is toward bank. He's got to play this a lot more carefully than he would have liked, and finding automatic makes it even worse for him. Because he's solo, Hiko does get there just in time, but he's already spotted by Pitt, who takes the shot, takes him down, the Swedish player. Looking unfazed right now, and LG again with another bomb plant. One on four for Valens. Ten straight rounds. Anger gets caught with a nade, but he's got a big task. He does make one more down. He still has a little bit of time here. If Peter gets caught off guard by this shot, it could work in Valens' favor. But the ops firmly fixed, at least aimed in that direction, not scoped through. Lex going to flash himself out. And Valens, I don't think he's even going to attempt. He does come around the corner because they know things are getting desperate, so he has to. But Luminosity have the lead. After a rather lackluster and confusing start, we have to say. Yeah, this is, a, this is a whole new team now. This is an unbelievable performance we're seeing them put together in the second half to make this comeback real. And Nilo, I mean, you start to see it now out of them. The same issues that Luminosity had throughout the first half is their economy just... They're not able to get it going whatsoever. They have one kit that's on Hiko. Valens is forced to buy a Famos with no armor because he wants, he wants the smoke. He wants the Molotovs. He wants to be able to hold them back early on so they can't get those aggressive entries. And they're going to push short. And this is plays right into the hand of Luminosity. Luminosity is just going to walk up Monster and just get a free bomb site. This is a free site, and, and Nylum's going to be crushed. Well, hopefully, Nylum can do something about this on the retake because they're going to have to play that exact position. They know it too. And the other problem is that Peter's still lurking in the hallways. So if they get stuck or slowed down on sandbags at all, he'll wait for his teammates to call that and go and just get the shots in the back. As Sangston Sempus, they come in from Catwalk. They'll try and pinch the site from two angles, but that's all they're going to have to work with. Peter's still biding his time. Valens now knows he's there, so he'll go back, and Peter's done double. He's already got two in anger. Nafly, they'll do the rest. It's 14 now for Luminosity, and this is ridiculous. Nihilum, we talked up their CT side. 
We've also made mention of the fact that it's against move-up teams. Well, here's another team that was in the league last season, and they're potentially going to go two and four against those teams now. That's 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 problematic. That's that doesn't say anything good to me at all about Nylum right now. I mean, well, they're they're also losing 11-0 on their CT side. That doesn't say anything good either. And this is, I mean, there's no more there's no more time left for Nylum to do anything. They have to start winning right now. And their answer is no, more never. aggression. Look at the push by Automatic. He's going to be very quick for a flank over towards this B hit, but Nico's going to get caught out. Luminosity hasn't changed up anything. They're just going to blow the wind here. Pit with an entry frag. Sanks does take one down, but it's going to be a three on three. Valence has got to do something over towards Shorty. Grabs one with a nice headshot. This is a great opportunity for, for Nihilum here. Peter desperately hoping that smoke would dissolve so much sooner. And they have a free player on the opposing side of it as Lex will catch Valens on the way through. Semphis, oh, Lex, who switches over, tries to go for that reload, manages to save himself with the quick switch. I managed to kill myself with the quick switch both times. I think you're well aware, but Lex gets the kill, and it's automatic now. That's the only one left, and this could be match point in the most it's insane unlikely how that turn so of events. I, this, yeah, this is crazy. I, this is... It's, I'm actually, like, shocked by how this has unfolded. I wouldn't have been able to call this first or second half. And now the bomb goes down again. We've got automatic. He starts to push back through. Peter waiting on the site. Lex goes all the way back toward the stairs, and unfortunately, automatic only has the the famos, excuse me, to work with. And he's completely blinded up, so this delays his take a little bit more. And there it is, Lex. He's going to put us on match point. Luminosity, twelve straight rounds. T side overpass. Nihilum look lost. They're not even in this game anymore. They're on a whole different division. Send them down to Premier. Send them down to Main. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Oh, don't get a little too... I mean, here's the thing. Even in rounds where they have the advantage, like that round, they, they were in great positioning to win that round in a three-on-two, and still just the fight goes Lex's way both times. And for whatever reason, I mean, part of that is just you've been losing so much, your communication might be a little bit off, you might be a little bit down, but look, more aggression. Semphis is pushing up towards Fountain. He's going to get the first one. That's Pit. That's where the bomb is as well. He keeps pushing. Pushes onto Peter, but can't find the kill. Anchor chimes in, and there goes Semphis. So the push is gone. It's now a two-on-four. Hiko and Sank, so much work to do. And the frag distribution is spot on for both teams, actually, believe it or not. It's 19, 20, 21, 22. That's your spread for LG. L N Nihilum, excuse me, I was about to say Luminosity. Nihilum are on a similar situation. 21 for three players, 24 for Semphis. It's Valens who lags behind. And not to call anyone out directly, because there's obviously been lots of problems for both sides on their defense and inabilities to hold certain sites, but right now Nihilum again, two men down. The good news is that they've picked a sack to say bomb site, and that's and that's the site that Luminosity is going to. So one last stand here for Sanks and Hiko. And in they come. They'll try and get this bomb planted. They're going to go for the truck plant this time. It's Peter to put it in, but it doesn't even matter. Lex finds two, and what an unbelievable comeback! Thirteen straight rounds after only picking up two in the first half. Or excuse me, three in the first half. That's incredible.